Meet Christy. She's a 41-year-old woman who wants to start a family more than anything, and she's ready for motherhood now. Christy, the fact that you froze your eggs, this is gonna work out well? With or without a partner. Lucky for her, we found 15 men who wanna skip the dating and go straight to baby making. You sound like the devil. But previously... That actually gave me such a... Yeah! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, after barely surviving the outdoors... Some people are forgetting your name. They're calling you Cindy. Are you joking? The men discovered a rat living indoors. There's a snitch in the house. But after some first date sparks... You slide down. I don't see us starting a family together. That's life. Christy said goodbye to Budge and Mario. Matt, I'd like to keep dating you. And chose to keep Matt and Angelo. hi <laughs> Why is he here? Starting a family with a person like that seems like a nightmare to me. Tonight, through a series of intense drills, what is the currency of Bulgaria? The love. Awesome. Over the top romantic dates, crazy house oh. drama. Anybody seen Snoop? Whoa, Whoa stop reaction. talking. You gotta stop talking. I need to know. Your cheers. We'll follow Christy's path to parenthood. Are we ready to make a final decision? Oh. It's about to go down. There it is. There you go. I'm Kristen Davis. Welcome to Labor of Love. Whoa! Let's go, boys! <laughs> We're still up in this, baby. <laughs> Congratulations. He's not a morning Congratulations. Person. Congratulations. <laughs> still in it to win it. Hey, message! Ooh. Oh, pop, pop quiz. quiz. Please find a tablet with your name on it in the dining room. You each have 30 minutes to complete your test before it's back to school time. Oh, Good nice. luck. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta take a test. As a former professional wrestler, there might be this misconception about uh, your capacity mentally, but I'm not as dumb as I look. So an aptitude test, let's do it. I don't even want to turn this thing on. <laughs> good luck. Nobody. I am not a good test taker. I would far rather masturbate into a cup every day then take one test a week. Good luck, gentlemen. What the f is this? I'm good at taking tests. I went to Yale, so I'm confident going into this, but I'm looking around and I see people, some of them didn't go to college. They're not gonna do well on this test. Having to take this test. The first one I look down, it's got a five, a 12, a 10, and a 20. Tell us to miss a number. I grew up from a small town, and I've never seen anything like that ever. I was looking around trying to find a way to cheat. <laughs> There's no way to cheat on that test. All right, guys, time is up, time is up. I'm not, I failed. Hey, there's a school bus outside. Fellas, we got ourselves a bus. There we go, boys. Oh, cool. Wow. I'm not going to lie. Like, the best part about being smart is that I get to win a lot. I went to Harvard, so I have a feeling that today will be no different. Dude, I love winning. Christy! The kids have to know that you love them, but you expect certain things from them. School, you do your homework. Are you going to college? That was not a question. It's which college are you going to go? Do you feel good about the elimination? I do. Um, in this case, I think it was really about not having the same vision for what lifestyle we saw together. And I'm really looking for someone that I can build something new with. I've seen your checklist, and I know that brains are just as important as brawn. So today, we're going to see how smart the guys you know, are. I'm excited about I this. I know. Remember roaming through the hallways, hoping that she'd look down my way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Challenge is all about intelligence 
and that is something that's important to me and the man that I ultimately choose, but it's also the first opportunity I have to see how these men interact with children. Gary, you're up first. I'm all by myself. Go get him, buddy. All right. Each gent will take turns teaming up with Christy, and together they will go head to head against one of our geniuses. You got this, Gary. Let's do this. Okay. I like challenging my mind. I've been told that I'm a renaissance man. I think if you're really smart, you can work through problems. Things like that really matter when it comes to being a father. Okay, we're ready. All right, here we go. What is the official currency of Bulgaria? I don't know. Truman. The love. Awesome. You multiply 22 by 4, subtract 23, multiply by 6, and divide by 3. 130. Yes! Those kids were so smart. They owned me at the podium. In music, what does the term fortissimo mean? Really loud. Very good. The normal blood pressure of a human body is... 120 over 80. Good! I think it's great to quantify intelligence, and intelligence is important to me. But what I'm really learning in this drill is it's just as important to me to see how these men are interacting with the kids. For a successful relationship, is the heart or the brain more important? What you got, Truman? Go ahead. The brain. Why? Because the heart just functions to push blood around the body and the brain is the actual source of the emotions felt in a romantic relationship. Great answer, dude. That was awesome. That's great. So now I'd like to take a moment to discuss the test that you guys took this oh, morning. Lordy. It was an aptitude personnel test to determine intelligence and mental flexibility, with the highest possible score being 100. Coming in second with an 83 is Keith. Keith. And the gent with the highest score of 91. Is Marcus. I hope Christy finds smart guys super sexy. All right, Christy, this is what we like to call the rapid fire round. Who in the house would you most like to go on a cross country road trip with? Keith. Oh, <laughs> Who in the house would you most like to introduce to your sister? Kyle. Who in the house would your parents like best? Gary. Parents like me, I'm happy to meet them. Who in the house would you ask for career advice? Stuart. Who in the house would you most like to dance in the rain with? Alan. Who in the house would you most like to change a tire with? Kyle. I guess I'm feeling a little frustrated because Christy always seems to be paying a lot of attention to Kyle and she chose Alan for like the most romantic part. And so today I'm going away with a win in the uh, aptitude test department, but also leaving with a lot of questions. Thank you. A lot of work. A lot of work. You guys were awesome. Kyle got mentioned twice today. So it is pretty clear they have some kind of chemistry or some kind of vibe. My suspicion is that some of the guys are now stepping up the game. They may be sneaking over, trying to get an edge. So it makes me realize that if I want to be in this, I've got to do something to show Christy that uh, I'm in the game. <gasps> what was y'all's, what did y'all get? Like the whole like Christy picks your specialty thing? She said she wanted to take a road trip with me. And that strikes me as friend zone, like a road trip. Oh man, I thought the road trip was a good one. Yeah. That's a lot of time in a capsule. You want to still go on adventures with your lady, you know That's what I mean? true, that's true. Boy, Kyle got picked for two things. We're all reeling from the fact that Kyle got two positive answers, so that's very strong. Kyle's got the real inside track right now. Yeah, he got two things, and he's 6'8". I feel like he's probably the front runner at this point, potentially. I see him as a real threat in this competition, but I'm not gonna back down from that. Keith is very smart. He's a very, he always has been smart. He was at Yale. He has a good head on his shoulders, and he's good looking. That always helps. <laughs> I 
I really do want time to talk to these guys. I have so much I need to learn about so many of them still. Hi, Whoa. Gary. So I decided to go over and hang out. And I'm feeling like this is gonna be a really good day. I'm sneaking behind oh, you, you, right here. You this is me, this is yeah. me, yes. Slide right in. Okay. We're finally gonna get this chance to connect, I think at a level that, you know, both myself and they have been craving. How is everyone doing today? Good, how are you? Great. I'm well, good. Did you have fun yesterday? Yes, I did. What was your takeaway from the drill date? Um, you know, intelligence, that sort of thing is a part of who I am, you know, and it's something that I wanna to bring to my family, but I don't think there's one way to measure intelligence. It is very serious when Chrissy's around, like everybody just wants to dive in and just talk relationship, which is fine to do that, but there's like no substance behind it. So I thought it was a good opportunity to invite her downstairs. Chrissy, would you like to go downstairs, have some quiche and play some pool? I would, all right, hold that thought. All right, you guys, have fun, I'll be back. Is quiche the way to a quiche. woman's heart? You know, I really don't know what quiche is. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have brought over some quiche, maybe a glass of wine or something, but it seemed to work. Have you ever had quiche? Um, I have, yeah. You have? Yeah. Things kind of got off to a rough start with Jason, and I know that he feels bad about that. So it definitely makes me want to talk to Jason. It might help me understand more about who he is. Yep, so... But you're um, the country boy, right? I am a country boy. You know, I love visiting the big towns, but... I'm I'm a very small town guy. You yeah, know? I like walking I like out that of my about house you. And, and seeing Cute. what is that? charming. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What the? They left us fifty cents. Okay, what's that for? There ain't no soda machines around. Dude. Are we playing quarters? You said it. <laughs> wait, wait, I gotta get in a better position for this. <laughs> you, you can get closer to me. If okay, you want to. I'm getting closer. If I hit this, you kiss me. No. Do you really want a first kiss to be a drinking game? I, I would take however. Jason, come on. Be nice, Jason. Be a gentleman. <laughs> you are a gentleman. You are. You know what else I am? A winner. You owe me a kiss. I'll give you a kiss on oh. the cheek. No, I don't kiss on cheeks. Come on, Jason. Lovers kiss here, not here. And then real lovers kiss here, not here. <laughs> We're together in that cup. What else do you do? <laughs> Give a hug. Yeah. Always. Can I steal always, her? Always, always. Can I steal Christy now? Hi. 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 How are you? Hi, me. Just, All right. <laughs> I appreciate Angelo, you know, kind of takes the opportunity to interrupt my time with Jason to create some time with me, which is what I've been wanting him to do. I know nothing about this guy other than that he's a firefighter that lives in Miami. So yeah. Yeah, so how are you doing? Good, I'm good. I mean, you're a type of guy I think that women want to go out with, so I think for sure you've had plenty of opportunity mm -hmm. to date. Mm -hmm. So I just was trying to Yeah, there's, I have no excuse. Out. I just haven't found the unicorn yet. You know right, what I mean? Yeah, like, okay. I don't have an excuse. It just, it just didn't work out yet. It, it's been a while. It's probably, it's been, Eight, 10 years, it's been a while. Really? Yeah. With Angelo, he hasn't been in a serious relationship in a long time. And that does make me question if he's someone who is really ready to start a family. I mean, that does concern me. I you know I was, I was in the middle of getting my firefighter career then. Right, that's you know what, what I mean? Like, I was that. just busy, I was focusing on me. Angelo is a big kid, a strong kid, a tough kid, but deep inside, he's nothing but Italian mush. Jason. So, so what, what was the conversation? We play some quarters. I was actually trying to get her drunk, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then all the... That Southern charm. Seriously. It is a two-way street. I don't think sure. I'm the only one like driving the ship here. And I don't want anyone to be here that doesn't want to be here. Like, sure. none of us have time to waste for that. I want to see if we both have chemistry, if we fit for one another. You know, like I said, you don't need to kick me out then. Right. <laughs> I'll leave if I don't feel that way. You know, I'll, Got it. I'll do you a favor. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Angelo. You're so kind. I looked at her. Not as good as you're looking at me, but close. And I was like, if I hit the third one, you gotta kiss me. There you go, kid. Raising the bar. What was the reaction? Was it deer in headlights? Was it intrigue? Jason, he hadn't even finished his story yet, and Matt was jumping down his throat. That was boiling with emotion. No, paint, she, paint me or her. I understand what Yo, was stop talking. Reaction. You gotta stop talking. I need to know. You're talking too much. So when Jason is starting to tell us what happened downstairs, it became Matt trying to quarterback the conversation. And I don't like that no, Let I'm him not. talk. I'm asking you a question. This 
man. Let Jason talk. I He's have, the one that was down I'm there. I'm engaging the ah, conversation. Back. I'm sitting right. Yo, stop reaction. talking. You gotta stop talking. I need to know. You're talking too much. No, Let I'm him not. talk. I'm asking you a question. This is my man. Keith's a little hot, but everybody wanted to hear Jason talk, and Matt wouldn't shut up, and he was getting a little perturbed about hearing a guy talk about maybe kissing the girl that he loves. Let Jason talk. I He's am. the one that was down I'm there. I'm engaging the conversation. I am sitting. Listen, I'm not here to hang out with these guys. I fight for a living. Like, let's just go outside, kick my ass. But let's just end this instead of this, you know, bickering, bickering. Do continue, Jason. She said, oh, Jason, I'll kiss you on the cheek. And I said, I don't kiss on the cheek. I had the date with her, and I had the inkling that she is not that kind of girl. It's, a, it's an odd dynamic. When there's 15 guys, it's all fun and games. When there's 10 guys, it's like, oh, I actually have a shot at this. It's not gonna get better. It's gonna get bad. Y'all need to let Jason speak yeah, and be quiet, like seriously. I think it's important if, uh, as a parent, that you have a, a happy, calm, peaceful home and that there's, you know, there's not a lot of craziness going on in the house. I think that's really important for children. You know, he was like, uh -oh. No, no, this. Uh oh, surprise! Invite the two men of your choice. One will meet you tomorrow, the other starts tonight. Wow. Oh, wow. It's date time! I just want to get a date with Christy. Hi, guys. Hey, I'm a compassionate, sincere man, but I'm not getting to show her any of my good stuff. So far, all she seems to get to see are my foibles and my kind of mistakes or my trips and falls. For tonight, Stuart. Yes. I'd like to have a date with you. You had me hello. <laughs> good, very good. And for tomorrow, Walker. I look forward to it. Fantastic. So I just kill the mood. No. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Hashtag game time. Stuart's a good catch because what you see is what you get. He's not perfect. He's just Stuart. Are you ready for it? Come and get a little taste. Get ready for it. I can't wait to see your face. Very excited for this date. This has like a sort of a allure to it, like a magical moment set up where it could be something more. Again, with no expectations, but it could be something more. I am a super sexy CEO. I just need her to know I want to be a father. I'm ready to be a husband and be amazing at both of those. Hi, Stuart. Don't you look nice? Thank you. These are oh, for you. Thank you so much. Okay. Yep. That's so, perfect. Ready to go? Actually, we're staying here. Come on in. I'm really excited for my date with Stuart. Stuart is so someone I can see being a father. There's something waiting for us in the kitchen. Oh. Yeah? Tonight, I'm excited to actually get to know Stuart and see what kind of connection we have. OK, so oh, check out our message. A message. Parenthood sometimes means you have to make your own romance at home. It takes a dash of love and a sprinkle of teamwork. Have fun. It's kind of a big date for me. I feel like I have the cooking date when I'm really interested in getting to know someone. So. You just made a black man blush. <laughs> <laughs> no I mean pressure, that. but okay. So, like, you are the one that I wanted to have this date with me. We yeah. can cook together. We can probably do other things together. I think so. Where's my buddy Snoots? All right, who stole Snoots? It's time to find Snoots. No, hey, who stole Snoots? I haven't seen your cat in like a day or two. Yeah, right? I know. I saw him earlier. Who stole Snoots? I would never. I yeah, know, right? I know, I know, I know, okay. I know, I know. So I know. not me. Snoots is Trent's stuffed cat. I imagine somebody took Snoots and playing a trick on him, but uh, it's giving him a hard time. Somebody stole Snoots. How long have your parents been together? 47, 48 years. What's the secret to 47 years? Yeah, I think it's just choosing to put family first, never a question that you can count on each other. I like that. Yeah, what about you? Are your parents still married? They are not. They're not, okay. My father um, struggled with addiction my okay. entire life. So he showed me how I don't want to be as a mm -hmm. father. He showed me how I don't want to show up as a husband. God loved my mother. 
she told me how I want to show up in light. Yeah. So I got to see both sides of things. Right. Yeah. Are you close to your mom? My mom is my best friend. So cute. I went from I would like to get to know her more to like I, I will allow myself now to open myself up. I feel like consistently any little opportunity we've had, you have found a moment to connect with me. It's not forced. It's there's something about you that makes it easy. Thank you. Were you using snoots to help your grammar? On my word that I did not take snoots. Okay, I believe you. Anybody seen snoots? I'm not gonna leave any stone unturned, any bed unflipped, <laughs> any drawer unchecked until I find my little man. I done checked everything in this whole place and my little man's missing. Where could Snoots have gone? I believe I'm meant to be here, but maybe there's other women out there who think they still can't have a family, yeah. who think whatever didn't work out for them. Okay. That's a um, is door. that like a real knock on our door? Okay, let's go see what's but happening. But it's technically your house. Okay, let me see what's happening here. It's Trent. Of course. <laughs> this is serious. This is serious. Okay, you guys. You don't want to come this in. This is serious. Did you take snoots? <laughs> no, did not take snoots. Good I... seeing you, fellas. All right, have a good night. Stuart? Wow, that was bad timing for like, the no. serious discussion we were no, having. It's good. It's good. You know what? Also, have you seen that outfit of Trent no, that's, before? No, he's been hiding that one. So I was upset at first, but the reality is they just made asses of themselves. I could have made a jerk on myself and reacted like, what's up, man? How are you going to ruin my date? But no, they did that for themselves. I really want to tell you something, but I'm I feel really torn if I should like share this. Please. You know, so the short story is I was married. The divorce was not expected. Going through the divorce, what did you make that mean about you? Whew. Feels very devastating, obviously, but I think, you know, the blessing was looking back, I don't think it would have been the best life for me. But, you know, had things not been extreme, I would have stayed in it. And that would have been fine. I would have had a fine life. But it's like, I've never been the girl that wants a fine wants a life. Yeah. Like, I want yeah. a great life. And yeah. so I think the good news now is I believe in that more. That's amazing. What kind of women are you attracted to? First of all, I really am attracted to beautiful women. And for me, beauty is on an individual basis. And so I get to that point. Ethnicity-wise, I'm all over the board. Yeah. Is that music? <laughs> Stuart, I feel like we're getting punked. <laughs> like every point in our date, we start talking about something that I okay, really want to know. Okay. Uh, maybe we should check it out. Yeah, so. okay, let's check I it bring out. our wine. Too. I think that's a good idea. I just hope it's not Trent. Is it outside? Okay, I want to cry right now. Mm, Stuart, I feel like we're getting punked. <laughs> like every point in our date, we start talking about something that I okay, really want to know. Uh, maybe we should check it out. Yeah, so. okay, let's check I it out. Bring our wine too. You know, we hear this music and sort of don't know what's happening. Oh my oh, gosh! No. Okay, I want to cry right now, in a good way. No. <laughs> it's like when I come around the corner and I see the quartet. Let's be honest, like doesn't get more romantic than that. And to have that with Stuart, could there be a more perfect man for a woman to want to have a baby with? I don't consider myself a jealous person. It's weird. It's like. You go on a date with someone, and then the next day she goes on a date with your roommate. Good for him. Let's give him some privacy. Yeah. And I don't know if you can ever put yourself in that situation and be happy about it. Okay. I got the tinglys. <laughs> I think we're on the same page. I got the tinglys. <laughs> Cause she kissed me back too. It wasn't like a peck. It was like kiss. I pull away a little bit. Are we good? She came back in, and it felt magical to me. Okay, now you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> I wanted her to know clearly, I'm attracted to her. <laughs> I do love that laugh. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh, why thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
guys are amazing. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you so much. You know what I think it is about Stuart? He's navigating this so well. I want someone to navigate life and parenthood with. And without even knowing it, he's showing me that he's that guy. Thanks for coming over. Thank you for having me. OK. OK. Good night, Stuart. I knew that I already felt a connection with Stuart, but to feel butterflies, like that's a, that's a different thing. That's something you can't put into words. Marriage is like friendships. You have to work at it. There's ups and downs. And you just work through them and always come back to respecting each other and holding each other's values. <laughs> Last night. <laughs> ridiculous. Oh my God. Absolutely ridiculous. Yo, dude. Yo, we got news. Y'all might want to come up and see this, especially Walker. Walker. <laughs> what? Oh, my. Walker, pack your bag. You're going on an overnight trip. Whoa. Whoa. Boys. Wow. Are you serious? Wow. Walker gets to go on an overnight date. Just when I think I had the best date, he gets a better one. Yeah. We'll see how you are in the morning. <laughs> or tomorrow night at elimination. Thanks, man. So. Mark is very creative, and he's going to be upset about this picture, but I have to show it. Well, this is how my son figured out how to be toilet trained. He thought he was riding a horse. No many kids think of this. Great, how are you? Good to see you. Okay. I'm excited and nervous to go on this out-of-town date with Walker to Savannah. Traveling with someone is a big deal, and I want to really see who Walker is. OK, this is Let's so see. cute. Uh, absolutely. I'm super happy to be going on a date with Christy. I want Christy to see that I'm not just this old school thought or stereotype of what a funeral professional is, but that I'm actually much more than that. I obviously know about your main business, yeah, yeah. but you mentioned yeah. LA, yeah. and I assume that's for something different? It is. do a lot of work with a technology company that's like into the lifestyles. Okay. We issue, as part of that, the world's only solid gold uh, debit card, which is very cool. You have one? I do have one. Yeah, do you have yeah, it with I you? Do. I do have it with Can I see it? You. Probably. Let me see if I have one. I am a funeral professional, but I have my hands in a lot of other things. That's an important part of my life, and one I'm very passionate about is based around human connection and, and, and customer experience. You know, does that look like me? Or I think you're better looking in person. I, think, I hope so. I love yeah. traveling anywhere. I mean, I do it for work all the time, yeah. but I love traveling alone. I go to the Middle East a lot, and um, oh, you're all time. Okay. I go for like four days to some crazy far out place. Right. Home for like six, you know, it's, it's, it's sporadic, uh, but it's enough where like, I get to travel on some days. Mm -hmm. One of the out. things I do love about Walker is he's traveled quite extensively, and travel is a really big passion of mine. But I have been very clear that I'm here because I want to meet someone to become a parent with. And if Walker's out jet setting, it's not the hands on dad that I'm looking for. Let's go upstairs. Okay. How about that? If you love Walker, you're going to need to love traveling. Yeah. He loves uh, to Walker travel. Walker travels a lot. She needs to be ready to buckle up and go on a really fun ride in her life because she will have it. What a big date. And who knows what time to get back. I can't imagine it'll be too late, but I just can't see her and Walker together. Walker's a funeral director. I don't think anybody is worried about Walker. Like, I'm not saying he's not personal, but, but like I would think it would eat me up every day seeing people hurt by death. That extended time to me, it's just time for him to dig his own grave. See what I did there? Put a nail in his coffin. In a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> I was so proud of that one. The next part of the date is a romantic walk on the beach. Look at this. What is this? A message in a box. Okay. Right? Follow the light to find your hidden treasure. Well, we're gonna go right there, I right? I think that sounds good. There's so much that I like about Walker's, but the fact that he is a funeral director, I really question if I see myself raising kids in that environment. I don't know if I can picture that in my future. Oh, wow, look hey, I think mm, you're gonna be happy. Have. This is very nice. <laughs> oh, we have some rings oh, here, by the okay. way. Oh, look at this. Mm, oh. How appropriate. 
What perfect. a perfect fit. <laughs> okay, I'm actually very excited to go out this here. This is beautiful, right? I mean, did you feel like you had pressure to go into like your family business? I did feel a little pressure. Mm -hmm. My whole family's been in that business since the 1800s. Family business is a big deal. I mean, my dad, when he and his brothers retired, like no one took it over. I think that was sad for my dad and my uncles. And right. like, you're used to it because it's what you know Absolutely. and you grew up that way. But I have a little bit of a hard time like wrapping my mind right. around like, do I see raising you know, kids in that way. If I had a, a child who said, I love this and want to do it, I'd say, great, it's a great opportunity mm -hmm. for you. My heart wants my kids to do whatever they want to do. So I'm, as I'm just like sort of thinking here, like, are you ready to transition into a life that potentially has a family like in the near right. future? Having a family like fuels my desire to do better at work. Mm -hmm. So I think it would only enhance what I'm doing. Walker's great. He's doing a lot of interesting things in his life but is he really ready to start a family? I'm not sure. How are you feeling about today? I had a great time. Yeah. I can't tell you like how nice it is to spend time with someone who's you know, knows what they want and is direct about it. I appreciate the questions you asked me <laughs> that were like, you know, kind of forthright. As we wrap this date up, I realize that I really am into her. This has been a, a serious day for both of us, and I feel like we have a genuine connection, and I'm ready for what's to come. Welcome back. Christy and I like the same things. We love culture and traveling. We had a great time, and I'm really hoping Christy sees what I have to offer as a husband and father, but I'm not arrogant about it, you know? I do think we should all just like act like he's not here, just for fun. Just, <laughs> just for, completely just ignore. We're not saying that. Just walk away. I'm gonna just walk away from him. Jason, we're cold shoulder and Walker. Gentlemen, no welcome. See ya. No, no, I'm just kidding. Welcome oh. back, man. Welcome back, man. It's like breaking balls, you know? Okay. Right. That, that was a awesome. Walker, where'd you go, man? So, <clears throat> uh, we went to Savannah. So it was, mm, it was that's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Did you, did you kiss awesome. her? Tongue action? I gotta tell you that, man. Yeah. But it was, it was great for me. I mean, look, after that date, I would be blown away if I went home, to be honest. Good for them. Good for him. But hopefully, like, what happened with them doesn't, you know, way negative on her decision about me, you know what I mean? Because I really didn't even have a date with her, it just kind of got like 10 or 15 minutes. Good. Thanks, man. Welcome thanks for the over, over, yeah. overwhelming uh, welcome. No, thanks, welcome guys. Back. Well, the reason Walker probably hasn't found the one yet is because he's really poured himself into his business and into serving other people. But now it's time for him to serve himself and find the woman who's going to be the right compliment to him. That's my lucky spot. Oh, lucky place. Trent switching it up. I had a really great day with Christy. She has a place in my heart. I don't want to go home. It's too early to go home, but you just don't know. I like to think I'm prepared for everything, but I'm not prepared to get my heart broken. Steve. Hi, Kristen. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. There's so much to catch I up know. on. Where to begin? Big week. What I feel kind of excited about now is I do have a better idea who each of these men are. Good. And that's different than just a that's couple what we weeks wanted. ago. Trent, what do you see over there? They're sitting. They're, They're sitting? They're sitting and looking. Okay. Uh-oh. It's you, about you to go down. Just a reminder, for those who are safe, we're going to move them over to the right side of the screen. Okay. Those that you're unsure about are going to remain on the left side of the screen. So then you're going to have the opportunity to speak with them before making a final decision. Okay. Just because you put them in the we need to talk box doesn't mean they'll be going home. A man could be in that category for good or bad reasons. Are you ready to start? I am. Okay, yeah. let's go to Stuart. Stuart. Yeah. Stuart's one of those guys like I knew I was interested in from the beginning right. mm -hmm. and I hoped our date would go well. Right. And it did. Oh, here we go. Stuart's on the move. Stuart in the house. During the drill, I got the highest score on the test, but I do not have lots of money and CEO success like Stuart. So he's my biggest competition. Alan! He's definitely someone I would want to get to know more. You mm -hmm. haven't had a full date. Exactly. Trent. 
he is this kind of goofball, but I think he's also a really smart guy. Mm -hmm. um, and he's one of the guys that I see actually interacting with children really well. That's true. Well, however it goes, it has been my pleasure, guys. Oh! Hey! Okay, Keith. Yeah. He's one of the guys I feel like I know is ready to be a dad. He's also very smart. He's very smart. A date would tell me a lot about Absolutely. what's there and what's not. Right, 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 right. Keith, there we go. Kyle, she's made it easy on you the first couple eliminations being early. You think she's yeah, just mixing different. it up on you to make you sweat a little? It's, it's working. Yeah. <laughs> All right, slide him over, folks. Hey, there we go. There you go. There you go, Kyle. And what about Walker? We had this date. I couldn't have asked for it to go better. Right. I think there's okay. so much about Walker that I really do think mm -hmm. is perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a business guy. He's an entrepreneur. If Walker's out jet setting, is he someone that I see myself having a family with? Talking about Walker a lot here. Yeah, some conversation. Uh, long date. Must have been a good date. Oh. Oh. oh it's nerve wracking, fellas. My heart drops, and I know, OK, this could mean trouble. There's no lock yet. It's true. Are we ready to make a final decision? Um. Okay. There it is. There you go. Go get him. Nice man. Go get him. Appreciate it. Got it. Going home tonight would be absolutely devastating to me. I want a family. I've seen people die surrounded by love, and I've seen people die who are alone, and I don't want to die alone. Are you ready to go over there? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go. And just because you're in the we need to talk element of the app doesn't mean you're going home. This is a great group of guys and they're very different from each other. But if I don't see the future I want with them, then I'm not gonna keep them here. At this point, do I even wanna stay? Like I'm here twice, like fighting for something that may not wanna fight for me. If she's not part of my life, I'm not gonna be mad at it, dude. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? I'm OK. How are you guys? Christy, you are glittery. <laughs> you guys know I don't love this night, so let's mm. all breathe. Some of us are getting used to it. <laughs> but sincerely, I've really appreciated getting to know each and every one of you. And with that, Angelo, we're going to chat first. Sure. Okay. Why not? For Angelo, it's two weeks in a row we need to talk. It's hard not to have mixed emotions, right? I mean, it makes it easier on anyone that's here if no one comes back through the door but her. How are you? Uh, I'm you good. Nice. I'm amazing, as always. So I wanted to start out by saying thank you. I really appreciate that you found the time the other day for us to actually have a conversation. Sure. And I think you're one of these guys that I know is a great guy, and I want us to have that connection, but I just don't feel that the connection is there. You know, for that reason, I don't see us starting a family together. I wish you the best. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. All right. I appreciate it. Yep, cool. Now, honestly, I mean, she wasn't for me anyway. I'm the realest guy here, that's why I left. All the real guys are gone. She wouldn't have made it with my friends or family anyway, to be honest. She's like a four at best. You know what I mean? Like, I hang around with tens and twelves all day. Jason? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Come with me, please. I would please. love to. I like Jason. I think he's a good guy, but I question whether he's ready to settle down. I don't think he's 100% ready for it right now. How have you been? I've been good. I want to tell you, I actually had a blast in our little hangout, mm -hmm. so thank you. Yeah, I have fun too. Yeah, Coming in. good. What do you envision moving forward, particularly as you start a family? You know, I'm not the city guy. You know, I like to have a bonfire out in my backyard and, you know, let my dog run around and not really into the city life that much. Yeah. I think for me, though, it is that I know what lifestyle is ahead for me, and I'm having trouble seeing us on the same page. Yeah, no, I completely yeah. understand. Unfortunately, Jason, I don't see us starting a family together. It's okay. I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank I really you so much. do. Good luck with Thank everything. You. I know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Jason. Honestly, Chris is a, an amazing girl, and I hope she finds the guy she's looking for here. And if she don't, I live in Charlotte, and I'm easy to find. North Carolina! Daddy is coming home. All right, all right, all right. Christy and Jason, it doesn't add up. <laughs> Can I pee right fast? Here, I'm going right here. No. It's on this house. Right decision. That's all I have to say. 
Hi, Walker. Hi, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Walker also got picked for Let's Need to Talk after the longest date that anybody has had. I think they're really talking. I think Walker's gonna come back. I do wanna tell you that I did have a great time on our date. Thank you. I felt good about you from the beginning. I do feel like you're this perfect guy. Oh, wow, that's not true. On paper, I feel like you're everything that I want. And I think for me, like this is really hard to say, but I just ultimately feel like we're not the right match for each other. And I respect right. you enough to tell you that. Right. Well, listen, it's like a very personal thing. I mean, it's not easy to hear that clearly. I just like, this is real. I mean, honestly, like I'm gonna cry right now. <laughs> I feel like I do really like you, I do. And I mean everything I said, I'm sorry. You're such an amazing person. Uh, I feel like so much of my life, I've really just led with what I think, and I'm trying to trust like what I just feel versus what I think. Yeah, no, I, I fully get it. I, I appreciate you like getting emotional because it makes me know that I think you do care. I that do, means a lot to me. And I, I want. I really do. I wish you felt differently, but um, thank you for being honest with me. Yeah. And thanks for a great so date. Sorry. And yeah. um, I'll hope, I really I hope it all goes. Perfect for you. Thank you, Walker. I mean it, okay? Yeah, I think you're amazing. All Thank right. you so much. You're welcome. See you. Give me a hug. Yeah. I feel completely blindsided. We had this amazing date, what I thought was an amazing date. Take right. care. Be good. Bye. See you. I think Christy's making a huge mistake. The quality she's looking for, I have, but I respect her decision, and if she really doesn't see it, then it's a good thing she let me go. This is the first man I've let go that I truly feel like I'm breaking up with. And it's not easy. At the end of the day, this is about who do I wanna raise a family with? Who do I see myself with? And I mean, if I'm being totally honest, I really don't want my kids growing up in a funeral home. Between his family business and all the traveling he does, I just can't see myself raising a child with him. Oof, and I've been so uh, happy to see this room. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Just uh, another week yeah. annoying the hell out of each other. Just because you have a date doesn't necessarily mean you're in there. Flynn, it kind of changed the whole game. But, I don't know, I would have been good if Trent and Keith were gone. Keith, somewhat abrasive, somewhat aggressive. And I think Trent's a character of himself. It causes problems. They're big personalities that kind of annoy me, truthfully. It's it's a a Next time on Labor of Love. Do you think she knows you want to spend time with her? Maybe I got something planned on that. We'll see. The competition is getting rather stiff, so we got to step up the game. <laughs> Do you trust me enough for me to put a blindfold on you? Um, this just got real. Taking food next door. I'm good. Oh, you are. He's got food in his hand too. Alan took my idea, so I'm the sloppy second guy doing the same damn thing. He's pretty right now. He's cursing, throwing. He thinks he stole his idea. Made in Georgia.